Week after week, Sunday after Sunday, Abuka has been reigning champion in the most stress on the Big Brother platform because what in the world? Abuka was looking so good today, he was giving 2020 Gen Z vibes, you know, with a touch of all this to it. I'm like, yes, daddy. <laughs> Oh my god guys and welcome back to the channel today was or last night rather was a very full day we had four evictions one a uh, guest and three housemates and surprisingly alex had the highest vote but you know she was still in the bottom three now of course Ewoka announced the those evictions but didn't forget to shake tables he shook the table between venita and angel over the letter which was written to her Dickley. and then he shook the friendship table between venita and um mercy Eke over the you know talking behind each other's back and stuff which led to something so of course in this video i'm going to relate to you all that happened post ninth live eviction so of course if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe click on the bell with miss for notification on every post i make don't forget to check out miss down below and also share this video so the more people can get to see and without further ado let's get right into it so of course Ile Bae after the uh show where Ibuka had you know confronted her over the fact that almost literally all the housemates are complaining about her that she's goading them into being violent and into saying things that they would normally not say so she addressed the whole housemates in the lounge telling them that she just wants to use this opportunity to apologize for her bad behavior and you know like for everything she's done wrong for intentionally or non-intentionally via actions thoughts words and you know deeds to have you know indicted or incited things or offended them she said she would like it if they get to the point of you know calling her to order later telling her what they don't like and so she could fix her behavior so she can learn and become better she called their names one after the other and you know say i'm really really sorry but then we saw how some of the housemates were looking at her funny first was sissy sissy told her that uh she's apologizing but the apology no jig it didn't come off genuine that she was gaslighting them now i guess this was when she said if she's not coming out to say i know i have offended like it's as though somebody is trying to apologize but they're not apologizing somebody's trying to say something but they're not really saying something that's the point of view of cc cc went on to even add that um Ilibai does not have a conscience that she just, you know, is wicked. That's the way she made it come of us. Next was Adikuli, who also then told Ilibai that Ilibai thinks people are against her, but it just seems as though she's apologizing and doing the same thing over and over again. Now, what Ilibai doesn't know is that people in the house are actually trying to protect her. She noticed how Sisi and one other person protect her yesterday when she was getting naked probably she was high or something now i don't really know when he was done another person spoke and that was cross cross said he doesn't know but he had tried to ask her before if she has a double personality you know personality disorder if she has noticed it or she's just like oblivious to it because that's what it's coming off as she is acting this way right now acting the other way and then comes back to you know become a new person saying oh that was not really her and stuff that that is something of concern and uh, we heard venita had to move on to add her own quota now according to venita apologizing and going back to do the same thing coming back to apologize is not the right thing the best apology is a change of behavior a change of attitude that's what she feels is the best apology and she's encouraging that Libra just tries to fix that because it might just cause her more issues if she doesn't now while they were all talking Libra was standing and looking and listening i don't know how she felt but i must say something it's as though all the housemates are trying to come off as saints and you know as though they're kind of ganging up on her but of course i feel what ilibai did was very matured she is matured enough to gather the confidence the strength and 
courage to come and apologize to people who actually don't care about you. They don't give two shits about you in and outside of this house. So it's really, really nice to see, really. So, of course, Venita and her former bestie, uh, Masi Eke, literally had a, a close clash that almost got very, you know, intense. Now, of course, immediately after the eviction where Ebuka revealed that Venita had a lot to say about... Um, mercy Eke over their friendship and then you know venita said that she noticed and she has heard a lot of things about the gossips and things that um mercy Eke sees behind her back and here was venita confronting um mercy Eke, talking about how um she would be talking shit against uh, behind her back it is hurtful it is bad that they were friends and stuff and she's literally not the kind of person that wanted to even want to confront my sake because she knows if it goes left she would literally pick a gun and shoot her just like she shoots every other person in the house who does shits against her. And here was Mercy Eke responding that, and that's how I'm going to roast you. I will shred you to pieces, bitch. You know, I'm not the kind of person you would handle or do that kind of thing with. I'm like, ooh, girl. <laughs> Soon enough, Angel interfered and tried to calm them down, tried to make um, Mercy Eke understand and tried to make Venita understand. No, there was just a clash of interest of whom said what and how they said it onto who they said it and why they didn't come to each other to clarify things. Now, Mercy was disappointed that Venita did not come to clarify things because she thought they were friends and that Venita would be always acting angry and pissed and ignoring her and here's venita saying she's just trying her best not to be confrontational and she was like she's waiting to go out of the house first to see the truth and they would know how to handle it um Ezekiel said she's not supposed to do that that should be holding that thing and then they'll be keeping malice it's not cool anyways one way or the other they went to the garden and settled all their stuff and they became good friends angel hugged uh, Venita, Mercy Eke and Venita settled and it is what it is and finally on this video it didn't take Mercy Eke too long to move on from um, what a boo boo thing white money down to Perry now of course for some days now for two weeks actually uh, Perry has been eyeing Mercy Eke they've been getting on multiple kisses and touching you know those stuffs and here they were talking in the blue room lying down on opposite beds you know talking about how she was saying that white man was going to be pissed if she, he goes home and sees that they're talking and then you know she's been sharing breakfast with him she might be feeling lonely she'll be missing it and he's like okay cool he might just feel in the lines so we're talking random random things and then she went on to say something like uh oh, what do we are we going to take for breakfast tomorrow and he was like anything you want she's like <laughs> white man is going to get pissed don't make him come back i'm like i beg you i beg you like this attention anyways guys that's all i have for you in this video so if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe click on the bell button beside for notification on every post i make don't forget to share comments down below and also share this video so the more people can get to see and i will see you on the next one tomorrow a new week uh monday of course the new week started from yesterday today rather a new week kicks off with the head of house challenge i'm going to bring you all that update and all you need to know so <laughs> see you on the next one no Hey, hey, hey.